Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emily Hessler. Today I'm gonna continue creating Valentine's card since it is um, soon Valentine's Day. I believe it's two days from now. And uh, yeah, to start off, I'm gonna use a couple of different distress inks in uh, the red and pink tones. So I'm gonna use, uh, first here I'm using the worn lipstick. And then I'm using uh, using <laughs> the pink raspberry, and at le at last I'm gonna use the banner coral. And these are some of my favorite distress inks, and they really blend beautiful together on this uh, very smooth watercolor cardstock. And yeah, lately I've really been liking doing this uh, blending technique because I find that I'm getting a better result at this smooth paper. Before I thought it was kind of difficult to do this blending techniques because I had to work so much and I always thought it looked splotchy and yeah it looks a little bit splotchy here but you will see in the end it's gonna tone down and we're gonna do some splatters on top of it and so on so, so it's gonna look uh, pretty so I really like this and here you can see that I'm gonna take some clear water and just spritz it into my hand and then I'm gonna drip it and flick it onto the paper and then I'm gonna let it sit on top of the surface a little while and you can see on this smooth cardstock how much uh, that water picks up and it creates this awesome bleach and I really like this easy to do and so much fun I wasn't uh, happy about uh, the result I liked it but I wasn't finished with it so I decided to, to take um, a white uh, acrylic paint and just do some more uh, splat, uh, sp splotches, splotches <laughs> on top of it. After I have been letting it dry for a while, I'm gonna do a die cutting technique that I really like. This is a partial die, uh, die cutting technique. So I'm gonna cut this heart out and I'm gonna cut this love out and I'm gonna do it like so that the love is connected to the sides and that it's gonna be floating on top of a shaker card. And if you saw the picture um, at the screen when you clicked on this, uh, you will see how it will look. And I really, really like this technique. And I have done this on a previous card and I liked it so much that I thought I was going to show you how I did this. So here is my big shot. <clears throat> and you can see that I'm just lining that up with those uh, marks that I did. And then I'm running it through my die cutting machine and you can see here how it ends up. I'm just partially die cutting that. Then I'm shifting it around and now I'm gonna line up those other marks and run it through. And you will see that uh, the heart has a couple of lines there. And in those spots we're gonna line up our love die. And then we're gonna uh, adhere this because we're gonna run it through again. And here you can see that I'm gonna line it up. At this side and then I'm gonna shift it to the other side and just partially die cut it through because if we do it this way uh, the first side are gonna die cut all the way through and we just want this um, the last letters to be die cutted and I think I will show you how I'm doing this so now I'm switching it over and just carefully placing that and uh, letting that hang off the side and I'm just shoving it through a little bit so I'm not going the whole way uh, and then I'm gonna shift it around and do the same thing at this side making sure that I'm not cutting all the way through and you will see here in a minute how it looks and then I'm pushing it through it was a little bit harder to do on this side <laughs> so you can see here in a second how it looks I'm just gonna peel off all those small uh, adhesive and here I'm taking a exacto knife and just cutting through those parts that didn't die cut perfectly and you can actually take the other parts here and create a second card if you want to uh, I decided not to do it because this heart is from Lawn Fawn and it has this really pretty stitched detail but uh, since I didn't do this exactly perfectly it, have, it doesn't have that full uh, stitching around the edges so I thought I was just gonna do this center piece and you will see how it looks I have been cutting this out and now you can see how it looks I'm just gonna take another uh, die from MFG and just create this uh, stitch border and here you can see I'm using some foam 
uh, and now I'm taking my ATG and just gonna adhere some acetate to the back side because we're gonna create a shaker card and that is why we need this dimension on the back side I just traced the heart before I did uh, put that adhesive on so it was a little bit easier some more adhesive and then we're gonna put this uh, foam piece behind it and then of course I decided to adhere this love with some more adhesive just to make sure that it doesn't peel off in the mail and after that I decided that we need oh here I'm just laying the pieces down so you can see it again then I decided that the back actually my this is my front panel and the main panel needs a couple of more colors so I'm just taking that abandoned coral again and here I'm doing this very heavily on hand and this is not a smooth cardstock so this is actually you can see the difference because on the smooth cardstock it really goes on smoothly but on this one it's like a little bit more splotchy but since I'm just gonna do this to have some color on the back side or on the inside of the shaker card I don't mind that much and I'm just taking some water just to um, create a little bit more softer I thought it was a little bit too striking with red so I just took a little bit more water just to water it down a little bit and just dabbing it off with a clean uh, piece of paper and then I'm, I have been cutting a couple of small strips of uh, uh, silver paper and this silver paper has some acetate on the back side so it's perfect for this I'm just peeling off those <laughs> that release paper and I'm always dragging around with it because my nails are so badly uh, <laughs> so when I'm done with that I'm just in, um, making sure that it's perfectly adhered and then I'm cutting off the end strips here and then comes the part that I think is so much work uh, in every shaky card you do and that is how to place your secret sequence inside of your shaky card without creating a mess and I have no good tip for this because I always do like this and you will see they are going everywhere and since I have these like sea beads, uh, they are all, always going everywhere. I think you can see <laughs> that I'm really struggling with it. And when I adhere this, of course, some of them slipped out. So I had to peel it carefully up. And there we go. They are all over my desk again. <laughs> so again, I'm trying to get it inside. And just that is one bit that just wanted to escape. So I let it escape this time. And yeah, that is nearly it. I'm just uh, making sure my edges are clean. So here it is, it shakes beautiful and I really really like this technique but to finish it off of course I had to take some pretty pink part sequence and just scatter them around this card. So guys if you like this uh, partial die, take, <laughs> die cutting technique I hope you will give it a try because I really like it and it was kind of easy when you figured out how to do it. So give this uh, video a thumb up if you like it and please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my work and you can always subscribe to my channel uh, to my Instagram account too and my name there is uh, scrapbooking analyze and until next time I hope you have a great day bye guys <laughs>